Hello, say good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, depends on where you are, I guess. Uh, today's date, it is uh, January 15th of 2020. It's 9 p.m. here in Fort Worth, Texas. And this morning, I was using my computer. It started acting kind of weird. Uh, kicked me over into, I was just sitting here, wouldn't do anything. It kicked over into task view. Let's see, that's, did this. And I was like, what the heck? So then I went and checked uh, let's see security updates or whatever I went here and there was a notice that uh, there was upgrades I forget I'm not sure if it was called upgrades or what it was but uh, ready so I went ahead and uh, did that then on uh, a little later when I was doing it, it went ahead and did an upgrade. It upgraded to, well, let's go here. Let's see. Uh, it upgraded to uh, uh, 1904, let's see, 19041.21. And then I went, then I took it for a little spin and uh, went to therot.com and they were talking about that there was a new Windows update. I'm not sure exactly again what they called, you know, what, what it was, what I have here. And then they talked about that... Uh, Edge was officially released or officially, uh, I'm not sure if it's out of beta. Well, it's always in beta, I guess. Things are, I for, forget exactly, but I went and checked uh, Edge, you know, the browser. Well, see, I use, uh, I've been using Edge. Uh, beta and then I went to uh, the settings on that then I went to about and uh, it showed that it was up to date so the Microsoft Edge beta uh, is up is up to date was up to date but then I went to Microsoft Edge, not the beta version. Well, I did that later. I just did that an hour or so ago. And it showed that uh, there was a new update for that. So I updated that. And uh, so to see if I, so I'm going to start using, going to keep I have also on my uh, computer, uh, I want to say Fidonet, it's not Fidonet, uh, a couple other browsers. Uh, but I'm going to try to use, you know, these. I've been using Edge Beta. I'm going to try to use Microsoft Edge. I have them here pinned. You know, uh, the current release without using that, but we'll see what happens. Um, okay, I wanted to check to see if I made the change. Go to Apps. Go to Default. Let's see, email. Okay, I'm using the Microsoft Edge as my web browser default. 
but I'm going to go ahead and change this just to Microsoft Edge because they've updated it today and uh, so here it is um, so for the build which is 19041-21 yes not dash point 21 it says be more productive organized and safe with these latest features okay you can quickly get to new stuff you can improve your focus while browsing you can personalize with themes uh, this is a a good thing stop videos from playing automatically uh, look up meanings as you read wonder if you have to use Bing for that um, one click to fill forms. It says show all 14 tips. Okay. Mark up PDF files and ebooks. Customize with extensions. Get to websites from the taskbar. Print what matters. Browse on your phone and PC. So you can be using your uh, Android device or I guess maybe an Apple too. So, and you can uh, then be have it on the screen right there or I guess go the other direction. Have the tab read out loud to you. If you're uh, have vision difficulties, this would really be... Back when I was doing my BBS... <laughs> I had to write my own BBS software back in 1982 for my Radio Shack Model 1 computer with 48K of memory. But I was always working, well, for years, uh, even when then I wasn't using software that I wrote when I finally started using other So I ended up using uh, Wildcat software for a year or two or whatever. Loved that software. So much fun to play with, but... What I constantly forgot about is I had a few blind uh, viewers back then. And I would make changes. I was making changes every day. And, and somebody would say, you know, somebody, hey, Jim, uh, you made a change. And with my vision difficulty, with I, you know, I'm blind and whatever. And this, it, it'll, and it would, he would tell me or whatever, you know. Now, when I uh, pull up your site, it goes, you know, line, 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 line. Welcome to Howard's Notebook. Line, 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 asterisk, asterisk, you know, that type of stuff. And I would, I go, oh, I'm sorry, and I would change it. But then, I don't know how long later, I would make some more changes or do something, and then I'd get another and it wasn't just one blind individual, it was several. And they'd say, Jim, you're, you know. So, I think the uh, hardware and software that they use has improved a lot. But uh, anyway, how did I get on that subject? Oh, read out loud uh, tabs. Set aside tabs for later. Read ebooks in the browser. It says uh, do even more with Microsoft Edge. Stay productive. Stop videos from playing. Improve focus. Look up what you mean as you read. Personalize with themes. One click to fill forms. Mark up PDFs and ebooks. Stay organized quickly. Get to websites from the taskbar. Set aside tabs for later. Now that might uh, that might help me there because if you notice when I um, uh, do YouTube videos, I don't have notes. I don't have a script or a plan, but 
sometimes I normally talk about mention something and I will open tabs and I'll have the tabs at the top and then I go to them when I uh, so. sorry about that uh, oh by the way I had a massive <clears throat> in my room here I think I think I've, I forget how many years since we moved into this two bedroom, two bath. But in my room here, I think I've had maybe counting yesterday, or that would be this morning. Uh, I think I have spilled, you know, I may have spilled a little bit of, you know, water or something a few times. But I think I've had two, maybe three major spills of. All I drink is really Coke. And since I've got this smaller desk now, it is difficult. Things are, there's just not enough room. And I was just sitting here and I just, I don't know what, it was a full glass of Coke. And I had to take everything off the desk <laughs> because the Coke went on the, spilled on my keyboard, the corner here underneath it, and uh, I was using, I don't know if you can see it, but you can just see barely the top of it. That's my, uh, I had to take it off, because the stand, you know, I, th I thought, well, I got, but then of course I kind of pushed it back, and there was a lake under there. That's the uh, 4K monitor, the, the, uh, to make forget now so anyway I took it off then when I put it back up here for the first time and I've owned it for years I put it in the portrait mode that's the first time that and the back on the on the on the stand that it's on it, it goes up and down which these other monitors don't that is a really nice feature for that monitor and then also, for the first time, I went around. Didn't have to, you know, unscrew anything or do anything. I just put it in the portrait mode. It was like, oh, my God. Uh, so then I tried it out. And I can't see why anybody would want to use it. I'm sure there are people. Maybe somebody does coding, you know, and they might have their monitor like that. Then they can have all this code listed, and then they could work on the coding. Or could be maybe uh, photographers who are uh, editing images and that type of stuff, and they, you know, something like that. But of course, anyway, I set it down. What I did was not because of the Coke spill, then it's just I was in that mood as I've got my two uh, Asus monitors. Uh, 1080p and I uninstalled the uh, app that worked on the other monitor because it pops up and when it, but anyways I have these two now these are identical I mean of course there might be a slight Everything looks identical, but they were purchased at different times. So they should match each other, and they're sitting here. Um, so, uh, where, did, where, did, where did I leave off here? Stop videos from improved focus while browsing. Look up, click to fill forms. Uh, stay organized. Oh, select set aside tabs. Okay, that's where. Edit URLs for your favorites. Browse in full screen. Import your bookmarks. Uh, stay safe. Change website permissions. <clears throat> Less flash, longer battery life. Uh, clear your browsing history. Get rid of pesky pop-ups. Browse privately. 
and secure by design. So. So that is Microsoft Edge. And so I'm not using the browser <coughs> version or the uh, beta version. Let's go check out This is a start page. You've seen it. You see it all the time. This is on every one of the browsers. I'm set up for this. You know my start page, and I put all the tabs and places that I want to. Oh, anyway, about this spill, I am going to try and not set the coke. I'm going to try to get this area a little more clean here on this shelf and set it back there. And then, of course, I want to make sure that there's that I don't have my cameras or something underneath, you know. I'm using, still using Manicam. It's very simple to use. And uh, usually pretty idiot proof. I made a video the other day. It wasn't a real long one, but I made a video and I thought I did a pretty good job. I forget what it was on. But uh, I thought it was something you might be interested in. And uh, then I stopped, or I thought I stopped the recording. I stopped the recording. And well, what happened? Yeah, what happened was then I went to uh, look at the thing and edit it or something and it said that it was still that it couldn't be couldn't be edited or couldn't be deleted or something like that because it was still being used and uh, I hadn't started I guess the recording and when I went to stop the recording it actually started the recording and so when I figured it out, then I was like, oh, my God. I did all that work, which wasn't that much work, but for me it was. Did all that work and then lost it. I didn't even bother to remake the uh, video. So um, let's look at CNN. If you look at my videos, you can usually, they're not all this way, but, you know, you'll be able to see what, you know, what happened today. I guess Warren and Sanders got into it. That's why I guess she didn't shake hands with him. Um, the pilot told air traffic control he didn't need to dump fuel that harmed kids. Did you see that video where the, uh, I guess the plane had just taken off, I think from LAX, Los Angeles, I, I believe, and then he had a problem immediately, and so he had to dump his fuel because he just was taking off, I guess, and he had a full, a full tank. And so, and I guess, which I did not, I, well, I knew that if you could, you'd go out over water or do something like that to dump your fuel. But uh, in the CNN story this morning or whatever, it said that you uh, normally will dump your fuel, I think, above 5,000 feet or something. And the pilot dumped it uh, low, really low and sprayed school, you know, a number of schools that were together. And well, I guess they weren't necessarily together, but, you know, he's dumping fuel. But, uh, so the pilot told air traffic control he didn't need to dump fuel that harmed kids. That's, that's, that's dumb. Uh, 
he, you know, headline. It, what does it mean? I mean, Delta pilot told air traffic control he didn't need to dump fuel. A a day after a Delta airline plane dumped jet fuel over several Los Angeles schools. Uh, Whoops. On six different schools while making an unexpected landing. Uh, let's see. Federal authorities said the pilot of Delta Flight 89 did not ask for approval to release fuel as part of their emergency landing. Air crews will typically notify air traffic control of an emergency and indicate they need to dump fuel. The Federal Aviation Agency said air traffic controllers direct the plane to the appropriate fuel dumping area. A review of yesterday's air traffic control communications shows the Delta Flight 89 crew did not tell air traffic controllers they needed to dump fuel, the FAA said in a statement. Delta s spokesman said the airline didn't have, oh, okay. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. I understand the headline then, I guess. Sometimes CNN does some crazy stuff with their headlines. I'm not sure if they try to put too much information in or what. Oh, uh, ad blocker. Uh, I, if, if a site doesn't have really obnoxious, uh, I'm willing, you know, I'm willing for them to have an advertisement on the side or do something or other. So on the, and I go to CNN website every day, all the time, all day long. That's where I check my, uh, usually check the news and stuff. And so occasionally, uh, you know, I get a notice getting it here big time. Uh, now. Okay, let's, um, and so, let's see, block and add, okay, uh, if I, I'm not going, I've unblocked it their ads, their site, because if I run a new browser or something, it gives me that notice, you know, please unblock or whatever. And I do it, and they are uh, unbelievably, they just hit you, bombard you, CNN site does, with advertisements. If they were just, if they weren't so, and I understand, you know, they have a big organization, and they have but uh, I'm sorry, I'm not unblocking. And if it gets to where I, um, you know, where I have to for something, you know, I'll just stop going to CNN's website because I'm just not going to. And I would put up with it if they would do, if they would be reasonable. I don't mind a, some ads down the side and, and uh, that type of stuff. Uh, I do kind of hate it that they run stuff, uh, some spots and, uh, you know, down at the bottom and places like that, that it'll be something like, I think they sometimes put, or maybe they put all the time advertisement in it, but you'll be watching something, you'll be reading the page and then, uh, There'll be something over here, which it looks like I am now blocking. 
that will say something like, uh, you know, the end of the world. And you're like, oh, my God. Uh, you know, it's the end of the world. CNN, you know, CNN news site is saying it's the end of the world. And then it'll be, you know, it's the, a new movie the about the end of the world. Be sure and see it at your local, you know, something, you know, something, not that, but, you know, something like that. And I, and then they have a lot of medical stuff. It'll be like, you know, uh, Cure for diabetes found. Oh, cure for diabetes. Oh, if you drink this spe special liquid from this special company that they just swear, you know. So I, I don't know. Let's see, what else did I want to mention to you. I think that's it. Wanted to uh, tell you about Windows 10 has been upgraded. And I'm not sure, I, probably not everybody has, you know, got it. But and there's no reason I, that you have to worry about, you know, it'll, you, it'll hit you. Maybe you already had. Maybe you got it before I did. But uh, I don't know. This thing of, uh, of course, everybody does it. Democrats, Republicans, and, and presidents and everybody else handing out pens, you know, for the signing of something. I think there's a whole bunch of the things that I just hate uh, when the members of Congress or president or whoever it is, you know, standing there, and then they have select people standing behind them. When there's police, when there's uh, shootings and or some type of uh, whatever, and you have the, you know, the news media, we're switching, you know, it's a press conference outside, and, and, you, and there's the uh, chief of police or the spokesman for the police department standing. And then you have all these idiots standing behind, you know, that have to be in the picture, you know, whatever. And I understand part of it is, you know, if it's a, like, say, a school shooting or something, everybody involved, you know, the FBI, uh, ATF, alcohol, tobacco, and, you know, every, every agency uh, wants to be, they want everybody to know, hey, you know, we're part of it, too. Because they get their funding, they get tax money and all that type of stuff. But you look like a bunch of fucking idiots. And then, two, the problem is uh, you have the chief of police or something of some, and the smaller the department, the more stars. And I know, you know, there's a difference between police rank, you know, and military rank. I mean, really, there is, I mean, it's, you know, so, you know, corporal, so private corporal, sergeant, lieutenant, you know, major, colonel, you know, general, whatever. But these chief of, the chief of police or whatever of the town and, uh, they're there with, four or five stars on their thing, you know, which would be in the military, you know, general, you know, or five-star, you know, general of the army or whatever, you know, come on, guys, that, maybe I'm one of the few people that it looks bad to for some reason. I was, I never served in the military. But it's just every time I see that, I think, my God. Uh, for a year, a long time ago, before security became a major business or whatever, I had a private patrol service for about a year. And basically, I was the only one working. But for a while, I had uh, one guy working two days a week so I could have two nights, you know, so I could have two nights off. Then later, I had a guy working for a short period of time. But basically, it was just me. And I 
I don't remember if I had some, I, I think maybe I had a lieutenant bars on. And there was another guy that had a patrol service. Also, like I did, and he was the only one. I think he had majors bars or something on, you know, which was, you know, which was okay. At least, thank God he didn't have, you know, five stars or something on. But that's one of the little things that bugged me. Anyway, thank you very much for uh, watching. Please, if you can use any of the links below, uh, please do. Thank you very much for watching.